guys so welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video today sephora slash shoppers drug mart haul slash a few other random products from places discuss and some of this i have already used and um has out have opened but anyway i'm gonna start with the things that i got um at shoppers drug mart slash other is what I'm gonna I'm gonna refer to it as other. Um just cause. So we're gonna start with the other first. And this is the Mary Kay um gel cream blush and it's in the shade blushing pink. I am actually wearing it today. This is such a cool product. It's like a hybrid between a cream blush and a liquid blush. And the color is beautiful pigment was lovely it's so so easy to blend out um love it so then from shopper's drug mart um i got the elf um 16 hour camel concealer and this is the shade fair warm i have tried the hydrating one before it's good i liked it um but i was curious about this one what it was like i think that i, I just threw it on the table i am wearing it today um, it did, it is creasing a little bit. Um, I think that the hydrating one is just a nicer finish than this one. But if you had extremely, extremely oily skin, this would probably be a really good option. So I'm probably going to put this in my kit. Um, but I mean, this was what? It's on sale for $5. You can't really beat that. But it's like, it's a good concealer. It blended out nice. It's a good color match. It's just... I think it's not good for my skin tone. I think you need to have a oilier skin tone, skin for it to be more effective. Um, and then something else that I was really excited to get my hands on um, is one of these new Benefit blushes. Um, and I got the strawberry pink blush. I did wear it yesterday. Um, the color is beautiful. I'm questioning my sanity though on why I went with this one instead of a different one because I liked the Shelly one and the Will I think is what it's called and of course the Butterfly but that one's out of stock everywhere. I question my sanity on getting this one but I'm going to play around with it and see what I can do with it. The formula, beautiful. The color, I question. Packaging, beautiful. Magnet, awesome. Um... But I may end up just throwing this in my kit if I can't get it to work for me. Because this would be beautiful on darker skin tones. Like, this would be beautiful. But yes. Um, so yes, I was very excited to get my hands on this. But I may have to end up ordering a different one. And maybe a mini if I can get one. Like the Shelly one, I know they were selling in a mini. I just opted for that one because I thought it would be so different. But I don't know that it's good for me. But anyway. So from Sephora, I'm going to start with the samples that I got. I got a sample of the, the bomb bomb cream is on the floor now. Um, the Makeup Forever Concealer, which is actually good because I kind of wanted to try it. So like this one should be a good concealer match and this one could be a bronzing match. But anyway, so yeah. Um, so I got, I also got a like mini or like sample size of the new tinted moisturizer blush from Laura Mercier. When I saw that this was one of like the, the promos or whatever, I was like, yes, please. I will do that. And it's in the shade Provence. So I'm gonna have to try that out. I'm really curious as to whether this is anything like that Mary Kay one. Cause it's a tinted moisturizer blush, which is interesting. And then I used some of my points to get this um, Makeup Forever, what's it called? Micro Fine Loose Powder, purely because I'm curious as to what it would do. Because it could be a good option for makeup kit if it looks good in photos. Anyway, so the whole reason I made the order is because I was waiting and waiting for this to come back in stock. This is a Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. And I got it in the lightest one, which is light bronze. I am wearing it today. I wore it yesterday as well. And I will say, you have to be very light-handed with it. I put way too much on yesterday. 
I looked crazy. And my mom 100% told me I looked crazy. So I, it's definitely a very pretty finish. It blends out so, so easily. Like, so easy. This is, this is, no offense to anybody out there, but it's idiot proof. Essentially. But yes. So you can see I did use it. Um, but yes, you had to be really, really light-handed with it and not pick up a whole lot because a little bit goes a million miles long. So yes, I was very excited to get that. I was waiting for that to come back in stock. It was out of stock for so long. Otherwise, this is probably what I would have, what I would have bought on my birthday other than the foundation. I probably still would have bought both, but you know. And then this was another thing that was curious. I'd heard a little bit about it. I liked the fact that it was lightweight foundation, so it's giving like tinted moisturizer vibes, and I love tinted moisturizers. So this is the Tower 28 Lightweight Foundation, and I got it in the shade 10 Larchmont, I think is how you say it. Um, I did try this yesterday. Hi. My cat's eating my plants. Um, there's what the package looks like. Um, I did try it yesterday, and I'm not sure about it. It made me look, I'm not sure if it's the primer I used under it because I put the Say underneath it, the Say Glow thing, you know? I maybe shouldn't have done that because I looked like a legit grease ball. So I'm going to try it out a few more times to really get an opinion on it. But right now, I'm not sure I like it. Because it definitely made me look like greasy. And my like tinted moisturizers don't even do that. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see about this. This this is a question mark. I really hope that it works because it is like a really cool product. And like it's okay for sensitive skin. It's lightweight. It's good, you know. Won't cause breakouts. But like if it's going to make you look like a grease slick no and i have combination skin like right now my nose area is dry like look but a lot of the time i'm oily through here so i have combination skin so we're gonna keep playing around with this and see if my opinion changes on that right now i don't love it so but yeah um and then i'll just show you this birthday gift um, I got the Laura Mercier powder in this little stick thing. Um, I have used the Laura Mercier powder before. I do love it. I'm wearing it today, actually. Um, and the Laura Mercier stick, I did try it on the day I got it. Like, I tried it on just over my lid with no makeup on or nothing. I um, wore it around the house, and it was, like, a nice little shimmer. So, we're gonna have to keep playing around with this. Um, so yeah, that's all the, um, new makeup I have bought recently, I think. I'm sure I forgot something, but, well, you guys already know about the, the, um, maybe I didn't say it. I don't know. I bought this too recently. It's just not in the box anymore. I'm wearing it today. Um, not sure that I love this. Not sure that I hate it. It's kind of in the middle. I'm going to have to keep using it. I've only used it a few times so far. Um, it's definitely lifting from my nose today, but got to keep playing around with it. It is a pretty good shade, Max, so. Um, so, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stuck around for the video. I'm sorry if the lighting got a little weird. My cat decided to walk across the windowsill. Um, <laughs> now she's going to play with something up there. Um, but anyway, um, please stay tuned for more videos. Like, subscribe, and I will see you all real soon. Bye.